As Dean Adamski checks his shelves of ammunition for sale at his firearm store in Alden, he's well aware of some customer frustration since the state of New York is now requiring him under the new law to record information about any ammo purchases, including not just the customer's name, address, date of birth, and type and quantity of ammunition, but also their occupation. People question, like, why do you need my driver's license for ammo? I've been, you know, 70 years old, and why are you taking all this information? Um, so, I mean, people are apprehensive about it. I mean, um, most people understand it. You know, you know it's, it's not me, it's the state. But, uh, but you know, there, there are people, some people that are just don't know why, why it's, it's so absurd to them. And there are some quirks now, like getting ammunition for shotguns and rifles, so which do not ammunition. require owner permits unless they're semi-automatic weapons. I mean, ammunition, including anything shotgun, yeah, the same process. You got to take all their information down, how much ammo they bought, what they bought, caliber, gauge, whatever it is. All the information has to be taken, no matter what, whether it's shotgun, rifle, anything. Adamski estimates that ammunition purchases represent about 20 to 30 percent of his business. And while some types have been hard to get with apparent manufacturer's supply chain issues, he's also worried that come next September of 2023, the state, once it actually pays for a workable database system, will start requiring a background check for people purchasing ammunition. And it may have some kinks for gun dealers, just like when the federal NICS background system for gun purchases went into effect in 1998. When hunting season comes up, um, you know, people are going to have to deal with the current, you know, rules if they want their ammo that we got to take their information. Uh, what scares me more is hunting season next year if there's a background check system. I agree on background checks with, with the guns, okay? Ammunition, that's, it's getting pretty invasive. Odamski is somewhat frustrated as well as county clerks were last week when we were talking to them. They feel the state was late putting out all the information on all these changes. They had to track it down on the state's website or interpret the new requirements best they could with questions that came up. They've been checking with Albany. One last point, Adamski says starting in December under state business law, gun dealers will have to keep their ammunition for sale in locked display cabinets. Apparently another new requirement coming. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.